Hey guys, so the uh, inspiration for this recording um, is a conversation I had at dinner last night with a very interesting gentleman. This gentleman is probably in his late 60s, probably early 70s. He's Chinese and um, he, his ability to speak English, him and I joke, is... 5%. In fact, he, he, he says, I don't speak English, I speak Chinglish. But this guy has successfully concluded business transactions over the last 40, 50 years in Trinidad and Tobago, Brazil, Southern Africa, West Africa, um, East Timor. Um, he's just opened up a project in Croatia. Um, and his dealings in Africa are both in English-speaking Africa, French-speaking Africa, and Portuguese-speaking Africa. So I asked him the question at dinner. I said, um, brother, how on earth do you manage to do business successfully and consistently um, across so many territories and you don't even speak English, you don't speak French, you don't speak Portuguese? Now, um, uh, I've seen him in action and he, he works through translators, etc. But his answer was simple. His answer, again, and at dinner it was him um, and his wife and a couple of us. So he didn't have his translators there. We, we were literally communicating with him <laughs> in his Chinglish. And uh, I've had many experiences with him where him and I uh, travel together, meet together, deal together, and we somehow communicate. I understand him, he understands me. But his answer, without the aid of a translator, was very simple. He says, I'm able to do business successfully and consistently because of a good heart. Now, obviously, I'm going to uh, translate it according to what I've experienced with him, what I've seen firsthand, and, and what I think he meant. Integrity. Um, uh, uh, integrity, honesty, and consistency. Um, his wife chipped in uh, a couple of times with the comment body language. Why am I uh, using this story as an inspiration to share with you guys? Um, I'm sharing it because I find that oftentimes we focus on the negatives, we focus on the weaknesses and we say, I don't speak Portuguese so I can't do business in Mozambique. I don't speak French so I can't do business, I can't even think about doing business in Guinea. Um, this guy focuses on the strengths that are, with him, that are within him. He has that conviction and that strength of mind that says he's, he knows his stuff. Um, he knows how to get deals done. Um, he trusts his ability to build solid human relationships and remain true to those relationships. And because of that, and I've seen it with him, um, I, I, I'm traveling right now and I'm pretty much you know, with him. And um, after dinner last night, uh, uh, we walked back to the hotel side by side with his Chinglish and uh, 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 I speak zero Chinese, uh, but we get each other. Um, somebody at the dinner table asked him about his relationship with me and uh, it was very much, it was consistent with his answer to business. He's like, you know what, the feeling that I have for Nanani and the feeling Nanani has for me is real. Um, so he has a phenomenal ability to build human relations. Um, he's loyal to those relations that he builds and he has utmost faith uh, and, in, and belief in his ability to um, not only deliver the projects per se, but to build lasting human relations. So yeah, this recording guys, long, rambling, but um, it's about the importance of building solid, real, and true human relations. Because with those, any barrier, any door, and any project can be successfully completed over and over again, irrespective of the obstacles.